Hello and welcome to your heart opening yoga sequence. Start by sitting um, on the ground and then stick one leg out and bend the other knee up and we're going to do some energy freeing movements so as you breathe in squeeze your knee in towards you and lift yourself tall as you exhale lengthen the leg just do another couple of those and then have a little rock of your legs in between before you switch to the other side Finish off there, lengthen the legs out, maybe have a rock and then see if you can fold over and lay yourself over your legs and take a breath. Inhale your way up and place your hands behind you so that you can bend your knees and rock them from side to side. Just easing out the lower back. Make your way onto hands and knees so that we can take our way down into a child's pose. You could put your head on the ground if it's not quite ready to, you could put the block under your head, or you could even put it uh, between your bottom and your heels if your knees aren't quite ready. But just focusing on taking long, slow breaths. Scanning down your body. going to take the right arm and slide it under the left in our child's pose so nothing's moved except the right arm that slid underneath and you can look towards your right hand as you twist under there and again breathe allow the head to rest down the shoulder as best you can Take a final breath there, really letting the shoulder go. Slowly begin to ease out of it and come pause in your child's pose for a moment to take a breath. Notice how the two sides are feeling. And then it's time to begin moving the left hand and sliding the left hand on the back of the hand on the ground and turning the head to look towards the hand. Your mind begins to wander, bring it back to the breath, coming and going. Take one last deep breath, slowly begin to exhale, sink down. And then uncurl your body, removing the left arm and bringing it back in front of you. And as you rest your head down, just notice feeling more symmetrical. And then it's time to rise up onto hands and knees and we're gonna do some um, gentle cat cow. So try to have your knees below your hips and your wrists below your shoulders. I'm just gonna breathe in, 
and drop the tummy in, look ahead, exhale, and go the other way. So your head looks forward as you breathe in. As you exhale, arching up, your chin goes towards your chest, and just rolling between those two. It might be a very small movement. It might become bigger as you find space. And then find your um, way back to a flat back. And so you're on your hands and knees. I'm gonna inhale and lift the right arm up. Exhale, slide underneath the head, the shoulder comes down, the arm rests on the ground. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to slide under. And keep repeating that. Just going in your own time, with your own breath. Inhaling to lift up. Exhaling to slide under. And then we're going to settle in the um, hanging down and see. If, so it's the right arm that's along the ground. See if you can bring your left toes onto the ground and straighten the leg. Maybe lift the leg and see how that feels. It puts a bit more weight through the shoulder. So take your time to feel settled. And then slowly begin to lower that down. Make your way back onto hands and knees so that you can turn and do your threading the needle on the other side. So the inhale of the arm, exhale as you lower it underneath. And then again, when, when you're ready to settle into a landing position, so the left arm's along the ground, you could try lengthening out the right leg so the tiptoes on the ground or even lift that leg up. See how you're feeling, keep breathing. There's lots of weight through your shoulder, which is a really good way to release some tension there. And then slowly come back down, make your way into a child's pose. And this time, see if you can scoop your arms alongside your legs so your shoulders can relax. Just feel them rounding, the head's resting on the ground. You might give your head little rocks side to side. Just give yourself an opportunity to find that stillness. Slowly begin to rise up onto hands and knees and up again with the toes tucked under into a downward dog. So feel that stretch of the backs of the legs. You might bend your knees a few times or pedal on the spot, just making some room listening to your body, seeing how it's feeling. And then make your um, way to walk forwards towards your hands so that all the weight comes through your legs, your upper body is just hanging down. See if you can hold your elbows in a rag doll and just allow a soft bend of the knees so that you can sway and move from side to side. And then when you're ready to, you're going to walk the hands and feet back out into a downward dog. Have another little pedal. And then when you're ready to ease your way back down into a child's pose, just for a couple of breaths.
and then we're going to do a heart melting or puppy dog pose so from the child's pose slide your arms away from you so you can bring your chin or your forehead on the ground and you get a big stretch between the shoulder blades that part of the back or possibly the shoulders if your rotator cuffs are quite tight too so you can make this as high or as low as you like but imagine your breastbone is sinking down towards your mat and it should be so that your hips are still above your knees and you can still breathe. When you feel ready to, slowly ease your way out to become flat on your tummy and then just bend the knees and windscreen wipe them from side to side. You can stack your hands underneath your forehead or your chin as a little pillow. Just ease out the lower back and then lay flat and take a couple of breaths. you're ready to roll over onto your back have your knees um, hugged over your chest have a little rock side to side you could even try inhaling and lifting your forehead up towards your knees and holding for a moment before exhaling and releasing and then either lay your arms out straight or have them bent and we're going to drop the legs over to the right so the knees have stayed over the chest and dropped and then you can look towards your left hand and just breathe there and tell your lower body to relax and keep that stillness as you breathe deeply. And then when you're ready to draw the knees back over the chest and exhale and drop them over to the left. See if you can turn your head to look to the right. If it's getting a bit intense, you can always straighten the legs and not have them quite so bent. But trying to sink the shoulders onto the ground and then relax and breathe. then when you're ready to slowly begin to ease the knees back over the chest have a little rock and then see if you can take your hands between your knees to hold either your ankles or your shins or your feet bend the knees towards the armpits and just allow yourself to rock side to side in a happy baby Stay there for as long as you're happy to and then when you're ready to release the feet, hug the knees over the um, chest, maybe draw your head up towards your knees for one final time and then exhale, soften everything down and come find your relaxation position. Allow yourself that opportunity to fidget, to find your comfortable position and find stillness.
begin to move your fingers and toes to wake yourself and then roll on to one side to give yourself a chance to wake up just giving your body a chance to remember where it is and then when you're ready to ease your way up using your arms and come to a comfortable seated position thank you for practicing today namaste